Pearl posted something today that uh, I found kind of interesting because she was like, yeah, you know, she, and then she clipped a little bit of it out, you know, that having a little drama with Destiny. And I guess so, I guess Destiny's made his decision about all these different people that, uh, you know, that the way that they are and, and the way that they think of women and this, that, and the other. And, and I think a lot of us, like, we, we're more entertained by a lot of the, the hot takes of somebody like Zerka or, like, Fresh and Fit in them. You know, it's, it's more entertaining than it is, like, these profound, like, these super profound, you know, insights. But, and there's also good insights that, that come out of like they kind of like the, these you know hot-headed sessions of uh of opinion that are going back and forth but uh, she uh was talking about how he's uh be, you know and and it is kind of in his nature this idea of like him pocket watching her was the the idea that she was saying that she's like why is he pocket watching people and i was like i thought that was kind of funny you know I was like, that's a good line, you know, and and, uh, and it was astute that, that he was, everything he was saying had to do with her earnings, with, with and, and, or potential earnings, and I was like, okay, another interesting point of view to come from, and I was like, so this is a social blade kind of based critique in a way. And then saying, like, I don't know how influential this person can be based on their social blade, you know, in a sense. So then I started to really think about it. And I was like, wait a second. He said this on what, you know, and, I, and then I see, you know, enough clip stuff going on that I'm like, okay, Destiny's on Adam 22's show. They apparently get along and are more in agreement. Um... And then there's like, you know, like two, two uh, young black guys that uh, they're, they're all there talking about this and that. They seem to be in agreement. And then I'm like, I know what I'm seeing. This is the progressives trying to, they, the progressives have come to the Democratic Party and have said, we can get some of these brothers back. It's not, uh, not all is lost. Not all these guys. You're not speaking to them in their language. You're not speaking to them in their language. And with the language you need to, there's a phrase in their language and it's women are divine. The black woman is God. And unless you say that, you, you have no inroads. And, and of course, most, most people who would be DC types would probably think, that's really weird. Why would, why would anyone listen to that as a political, the opening to any political kind of phrase or kind of approach? He said, no, unless you praise their women openly, you, you aren't praising their deity. And, and, that, and that's it. And once you do that, they, they know that they are in the, uh, in the company of, of another person who is commanded by hens. And um, probably makes decisions based on what won't offend the hens, and and uh, and you know rather than virtue, which would be you know like Greco-Roman and would work and has a long history, and and is really more the realm of the types like a Zerka. You know, he he honestly, for how much he's kind of a meathead and a lunko. In some ways, now and then he exposes he actually is pretty well read, <laughs> and 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 understands a lot of a lot of things very very clearly and very well, um, and and just plays a dummy on television, um, which I I'm kind of hoping that he'll make an arc, that he'll do something that more and more he'll expose to people like that he knows the difference between Pythagoreanism and Platonism and that he could, you know, point out the... I mean, like, I, I haven't watched his stuff about the Freemasons. I should probably check it out. Because when I think about him, I'm thinking about him, somebody talking about the threat of the Freemasons. I'm like, this is going to probably be pretty fucking great to hear. But, 
Um, I'm thinking this is the progressives trying to make overtures uh, to uh, black American podcasts or podcasts that, that would that would reach more black American males because the Democrats are having such problems with them. Uh, because and and it, it won't help really. It really won't help. They they don't realize that somebody like Destiny is not somebody who like comes across as like kind of normal. Um, to a lot, he he kind he comes across as a little odd. He's like an odd little guy, and and that's not to be mean. It's just to be like, no, you you know, like Adam Twenty Two is one thing because of his look. But, I mean, it, 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 yeah, it's like Destiny's not like somebody who, like, black dudes are like, whoa, you know, look at this, you know, but, yeah, homie's got hell of style and, and, you know, it, no, you know, it's, it, yeah, it, and so, anyway, um, yeah, I, it's just that's my take on it and and trying to and that because I think that there's really an understanding that Pearl has a type of following of people that it's like they are relatively traditionalist men and women who are younger and especially males who are into the traditional end and that that that's a big part. I, I really think that she that that very likely very likely he probably hears more about her than she hears about him. There we go. Let's just put it that way.